Hey guys, Alumia Boy here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to save and be able to play Sega CD and Sega 32X games on a Sega emulator called Fusion. Now, when I first got this emulator, for some reason, my games wasn't saving, and later, I figured out how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to create some folders here. First you want to create a save folder. <coughs> and you want to create a state folder. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a ROMs folder. I'll put all my ROMs in. Okay, this is where all your saves will go. All your save games will go. This is where all your save states will go. And this is where you will put all your ROMs. I made a ROM folder so it will uh, look less messy in here, it will look cleaner. <coughs> so these are all my ROMs. One for each system. Uh, this one's Game Gear, uh, Sega CD, Master System, Third. I mean, excuse me, Genesis and 32S. Now, 32S uh, ROMs usually be uh, in a 32S format, but this one is, uh, for some reason, it's in a BIN format. Now, we got the saves folders and the states folders. Now, next, you want to open up your emulator. Go to options, set config, and here, right here, your saves will go here and your states will go here. Same with with the patches. I don't know what these two are, but uh, okay. Here's where all your uh, saves will go. So you click on browse and you uh you want to set the paths. Mine is in computer and local disk C. So click on fusion. Click on saves and save. There it is, set. And you do the same thing for state. Set the paths up for state. Click state. Save. And there you go. And then you do the same thing for Genesis. Wait, SRM or save file. So you go to saves for that and here's state state files okay that's set oh I got to click on apply uh I don't I'm not sure if you have to click on that I don't think you have to click on that every time but uh Okay, these are Sega CD. Okay, the BRM are save files, so browse that. Click on saves. And here's state. 
click on state. Okay, that's your saves and states are set for the CD. And here's oh yeah, you don't have to set it for 32 X. These are these are just BIOS, but I'll get to that uh uh later on. So we got the save set for Game Gear, Master System, Genesis, and Sega CD. Apply. Okay. Now we'll test it out. Oh yeah. Click on ROMs. When you load in any kind of game. Okay. I'm going to test it on this Sega Genesis game. Sega! And I'm going to have to use my keyboard because I forgot to set the uh, controls for this. Uh, this is a new emulator. I'm, uh, I'm not using my original one. I'm, I just downloaded a, a fresh one so I can show you how to do this tutorial. Now make some changes. Let's set it to uh, how to sound it. Okay. Now we're gonna set a save state. Okay. Now I'm gonna close this. Go to the saves. As you can see, there's your save file right there. And there's your state file. And I forgot the. Well, actually, I didn't. I had to close it out to show you that the uh, save file works. I didn't have to close it out for the state. Sega. But I did have to close it out for the save. And as you can see, it's still playing the. Uh, the sound and racing on the title screen. Now I'm gonna load the. Now I'm gonna load the save state. Load the state. And as you can see, that works as well. Now, uh. Let me set the pass for the uh, other ROMs. I don't think I need to show you uh, the saves and states for these because it's pretty much the same thing. Okay. Now, uh, how to play Sega CD and 32S games. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, most of the Sega 32S games I try, they uh, play just fine. But this one uh, for some uh, was pretty glitchy, and uh, had to ma you had to make some changes to uh, get it to play correctly. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now I load this game, uh, Cybernetic Outbreak. And as you can see, it's flickering. And as you can see, the character is not on the screen. Let 
Okay, now first I'm going to show you how to fix the flickering uh, at the beginning of the screen. First you go to options, set configuration, click on the 32x tab, and you want to uh, enable fast 32x timing. Click apply, okay, and reload the uh, reload the game. As you can see, it's no longer flickering. It's showing correctly. But you still see that uh, that the sprite is still not showing. Now to fix that. You need the uh, set the BIOS path. So the first thing you need to do is create a BIOS folder. This is also going to be required for the uh, Sega CD. I don't know why I'm highlighting paste. Okay, new folder. BIOS. And next thing you want to do is you want to add your. Next thing you want to do is add your uh, 32x BIOS into your BIOS folder. I already downloaded mine. Uh, uh, I had the uh, I have a download link in the description for uh, both uh, 32x and Sega CD BIOS. Now here are my uh, 32S BIOS. What you want to do is uh, add these three to your uh, BIOS folder in your emulator. Open up the emulator. Options, config, click on the 32S tab, and right here you set your uh, BIOS for the uh, 32X. Now set your paths for the BIOS for 32X. Click on, make sure you go to the Fusion, your BIOS folder. And I forgot to tell you which ones. Uh, for the first one, you click on the G one, the G BIOS. For the M six K, the six A K, and for the Master BIOS, you click you click on this one, the M one. And this one, you click on the uh, S BIOS. apply okay now you got your BIOS all set now let's run the game again and see what will the sprite show this time and there you go You're now able to play the game with no problem. Now for your uh now for Sega CD. Now if you try to play uh Sega CD game, you might run into this problem. See, it's telling you please config uh, your BIOS for your Sega CD. And as you can see, the game just won't play at all. Now, to fix that, you do the same thing. 
as you did with the uh, Sega 32S BIOS. You take the, uh, I'm going to have to search these one at a time because the way these are. You take your uh, Sega 32S BIOS and you also put them in the BIOS folder. Wrong thing. Okay. Once you have your uh, Sega CD BIOS in the BIOS folder, open, open back up your emulator. Go to options, set config, click on the Sega CD tab, and set your BIOS. Now these will be easier to set because uh, you can see it has USA BIOS, Japanese BIOS, and Europe BIOS. Now, I don't know if you need to set all of them, but but I'm gonna do uh, do it just in case I have all mine set. So click on the browse the USA. Go to the BIOS folder, and here it is the US one. So you click on the US one. Do the same for Japan. Click the uh, Japan BIOS, and then. the European BIOS. Apply. Okay. Now you got your BIOS set for the uh, Sega CD. So, let's see if this game will play now. And there you go. It's now playing. So that's how you set your uh, BIOS for the Sega 32-bits and Sega CD uh, emulator. As you can see, it plays just fine. Now, you can also uh, add BIOS for uh, Genesis and the uh, Master System and Game Gear. Gear. You can also set BIOS for uh, Genesis, Master System, and uh, Game Gear too. But uh, I haven't did that because uh, I never did require... Uh, to have to do that. Uh, I guess it's easy to understand for the master. I only have like uh, I really only have like one mass uh, Sega uh, Master System and uh, Game Gear game. So I don't. I'm not sure if any other games. Uh, there may be some other games that require BIOS, but. Uh, not sure about that because I only have uh, one Game Gear and Master System game for uh, my emulator. I have a lot. Uh, now I only showed you. You only saw I have one Genesis game, but I actually have a lot more than that. But uh, but none of them required me to uh, set a BIOS for. At least I don't think it did. Does but. 
if there uh if there are any uh Sega Genesis games you guys know that uh require a uh BIOS file for the uh Sega Genesis uh please let me know in the comments. Anyway, that should about do it to, for uh how to save and be able to play Sega CD and 32S games on uh this uh on the on the fusion emulator uh feel, feel free to leave a comment this is a boy and thanks for watching